In this video I'm going to show you how to create an Adobe Acrobat form and collect and collate the responses automatically. To start I'm just going to create the form in Word because it's easy to create there. I'm just going to use the standard application template. I'm not going to change anything on it. I'm just going to save it as a Word document. Now that's saved, I'm going to go over to Adobe Acrobat Pro. And I'm going to create PDF form or online form. And then choose use an existing file to use the Word document that I just created. Now you'll notice that it's going to show me that uh, it can't read it. That's because I have it open. So I'm going to switch over and close it and then retry and it's going to process that form that I just created. It's going to find the fields and it's going to mark them as form fields and make them fillable. This isn't perfect. You will have to make some adjustments when it's done. In this case I am just going to leave whatever Adobe found. I could go down here to the bottom and put check boxes here, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Once the form is done, close form editing, and then just go to File, Save As, and save it as a PDF document. Then go back to Tools, go back to the Form, Tools, and Distribute. There are three options, but the one that I'm showing you here is to automatically download and organize the responses with Acrobat.com. It's actually pretty robust and very simple to set up. You just need an Adobe ID, which is free. If you don't have one, you can create it here. Sign in with that. And then in the to box, just list your recipients, the people that you need to fill out the form. And you won't be limited to only having these people do it. You can leave access open so that anyone with a link can fill out the form in case you need to distribute it to additional people later. It'll just take a minute to process. And then when it's submitted, it will show you this tracking tool, which is where all your responses will end up. Since I only sent it to myself, you can see the single recipient here at the bottom. And it shows I haven't responded because, of course, I haven't filled it out yet. But we are going to do that right now. So I will go to my email. And there's the request that I just sent. When I open that up, I can click on one of the links in there and either of them will bring me to the form online where it just uploaded to automatically and then it will give me the option to download, which of course I have to do. And then it will open up in Acrobat or Acrobat Reader, depending on what the person has. Now when I open this, if I'm just an end user, I won't necessarily have the ability to edit the form, but I will have the ability to fill it in. So I'm filling it in now as the recipient of the form.
and then I'm just going to click submit form and when I submit the form it's going to ask me for my email address and name and then it will tell me that the response was successfully sent so from the responder their job is done now I'm going back to Adobe and I'm going to open this up as the author again go to tools track open up the tracker and you'll see here that it still shows that I haven't responded but that's just because I haven't gone to view the responses yet once I go view the responses it will automatically update with any responses that the Adobe server received you'll see there it says one new response added and there's the response that I just filled out from my email now when I click and go back to the tracker you'll see there that it has that included in people that have responded and that's all you have to do it's a lot easier than it used to be we just created a form using Acrobat Pro and set it up to automatically receive and compile the responses